What can you add to your diet to decrease your risk of skin cancer by up to 15%? Foods with Dr. Batra. Vitamin A. Woo! Let's give it up for vitamin A. Yes. So this is actually a really interesting study that was just published in JAMA Dermatology. They looked at over 125,000 people and looked at their long-term risk of developing the second most common type of skin cancer, which is called a squamous cell carcinoma. And they found that those with the highest dietary intake of vitamin A had a 15% lower risk of SCC. And so this is really interesting because vitamin A is known to help promote skin cell differentiation, turnover, growth. It's something that we give as a synthetic form to people at very high risk of skin cancer. But the problem with vitamin A medications is they have a lot of side effects, like dry lips, dry eyes, hair loss, sun sensitivity. And so in this case, none of these people with the higher dietary vitamin A had these side effects, but they did have the protective effect. So super easy, carrots, kale, sweet potatoes, eggs. I mean, all of these are things that you should be incorporating in your diet anyway, and if it decreases your risk of the most common type of cancer in the United States, I really feel like it's a no-brainer. Absolutely, and you do not need to study to get this A. <laughs> Unless you're needy Eat those like veggies. Me. But I will say one thing as a side note, because I was mentioning those synthetic mm -hmm. forms, too much vitamin A can be dangerous. Remember for men, the, the recommended daily amount is 3,000 IU. For women, it's 2,200 IU. So these shouldn't get you over that by any stretch, but do take it from the diet, not from supplements. And I love how the food you put in your body can protect you from the outside of your body.